This 519, a new partnership between racing and the autism community will bring attention to the disorder today. 7 News' with Christine Scarpelli is live in Woodruff with that story. Hi, Christine. Yeah, guys, we got a, a full display for you, a full, almost like a movie set out here this morning, and we're glad to be talking about it. We've got Colby Howard here, the 2017 NASCAR South Carolina Rookie of the Year. So excited to hear more about that, see his vehicle as well, but of course, Project Hope Foundation out here, and, and a car hood with that on it. Now, this all ties in together, and there's, of course, a way you can participate, give, learn a little bit more. We're going to tell you how to do that this morning. Colby, first, I want to ask you, thanks for being out here. How long have you been racing how long have you been doing this especially here in South Carolina because you're a Hillcrest High student right yes ma'am yeah I started in 2012 here at Anderson Motor Speedway oh, um, I started in mini stock yeah. moved up through the ranks ended up in a late model stock car last year um, well actually in 2017 I won the state rookie of the year running all around Greenville Anderson Myrtle Beach okay. um, last year I our season actually got cut short a little bit we ended up with Anthony Campy Racing. Yeah. Um, so, really big season coming up this year. Um, right. 11 and pro late model races and a few ARCA races. Yikes, that is exciting. Congratulations on that. Thank First you. of all, important I know also to have Project Hope Foundation on the hood of your car. Does it mean something to you? Yes, ma'am. It's a really big thing. Um, I actually wasn't aware of how big autism was. Mm -hmm. It affects like 1 in 59 mm -hmm. kids now. So that was actually a really big eye-opener for me. Um, you know, we got involved with them. Um, it's a really great cause around here. Autism awareness, obviously, but also inclusion. Lisa Lang, you are the co-executive director and co-founder of the Project Hope Foundation behind us. Important also, many of our viewers maybe not necessarily directly touched by autism. Important to reach out to them this morning? It absolutely is. Although with the statistic Colby just gave, almost everybody does know someone who has mm -hmm. autism. You may not know it yet. Yep but uh, we need a community supporting these folks. This is a, it's a difficult disorder to live with. It's a difficult on our families. And so to have the community come together to show their support, particularly during April, which oh, is yeah. Autism Awareness Month, means a lot. I'll say, let's finish it up with a gala. That's the way, of course, we can bring in our viewers. They can attend. Now, we're looking at some photos. This looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot Tell of fun. Tell me just really quickly about it. It's really fun. We expect over 600 people. It's at the Greenville Convention Center. Uh, we have a fun live auction, silent auction. And lots of good programming and you can join us at projecthopesc.org to get tickets or to donate or to bid on our silent auction items. You don't even have to be there to bid on the silent auction items and of course the hood of the car right here auctioned off in the live auction. This is April 27th. You still have time to go get tickets. You guys pretty impressive, right? So glad to have Colby and Lisa here. We got a lot more for you coming up this morning, guys. I'll send it back to you. It is a little early, so don't start the engines. Thank you, Christine. Understood. <laughs> well,